I spent two weeks alone in the Bahamas and it was great to welcome Amanda back to the boat. We spent the first night celebrating with friends at the world famous Daniel Key. Then we moved the boat about 10 miles south to one of my favorite places, Black Point, where we got a little photo shoot and some alone time. I had spent most of my time hanging around Staniel Key while Amanda flew home to take care of her mom. Staniel Key is one of the most iconic and popular cruising destinations in the Exumas. Hey, it's nice. Good to go. Uh... I think I see airplane coming in right now. Amanda's airplane should be landing about now. They're a little early, I guess. I've got a book it there. I'm going to grab a little cart so help her with their luggage. And we're getting going. But it's nice to have her back. I was on a mooring just in front of the yacht club, so it was a short dinghy ride in. From there, it was a 10 minute walk to the airport. Pretty windy today. Hopefully, it wasn't too rough. I don't know. It's almost a direct crosswind. It's blowing at least 20, 25 knots. I was worried that the wind might cause issues with the airplane coming in. But her plane made it only about half an hour late. I'm back! It's so good to be back. Yeah. He was right where I left him the whole time. Yeah, I, st I, stayed, I stayed staring at the fence yeah, the for whole like time. two weeks. I thought yeah. that was so sweet. Thank you. So it's like 40 degrees warmer. Well, than where could, I just came from. You wouldn't be able to tell because we're wearing jackets, but it's windy, that's the problem. Also, when you're in the Bahamas, it's like suddenly 70, de 70 degrees feels like yeah. 30 degrees. I think it's like 72 yeah. or 73 degrees, something like that. It's uh, 72. It is windy. Or 73, but it's just really windy. Yeah, look at that hair. <laughs> the wind got it or something else. I don't know. And you and does begin. Oh, yeah. You got me in a spin, but everything is a okay. blowing like 25 to 30 knots out there so it's a little bit sporty but the good news is, is we're going right across the way over to the yacht club bad news is still might get wet that's all right the weather here is so much better than it yeah. was where i came yeah. from so much better than life in dallas like i have a new found appreciation for boat life i almost missed him there his dismount I don't want to get my jeans wet, but I guess... Uh... Yeah, you sit on that side, you should be all right. Okay. We were headed into the Yacht Club for happy hour and then dinner. Yeah, I was looking for sharks coming behind them, because like, they will, they, know, they go after uh, spearfishing all the time. You stop still, then you make it worse. You're like a pill that I just all right, let's go into the yacht club and get some cocktails. Things were already warming up at the yacht club. We met up with all our friends at the bar and then headed into the restaurant sea level. All right, we're getting moving today. Oh, somebody just put a <laughs> shirt on. I'm back. Yeah. Hi, we're moving. And I'm, you know, mostly clothed. Sorry guys, I uh, I was a little late with the with the with the camera there. She was just, uh, you know. Anyway, it's still blowing probably 20 knots out here, 
Uh, but we can take this like little inside channel all the way down to uh, Black Point where we should be well protected. But I kind of need some like high tide for that. I don't really need it. Uh, the lowest point says 3.2 feet and this only draws two and a half. But I'd still like to have an extra foot and a half, two feet of tide just in case. So we're going to head down to Black Point. Got the dinghy back here. Um, got it all kind of tied up here. Gonna, I'll move the lines around in a minute. And then we're going to pull in the Starlink. You ready? I was born ready, Bobby. I released the mooring lines and we were underway. How's it feel to be moving on the boat again? It feels amazing. Like, I've never felt better. I feel like a whole new person. I didn't well, get enough As soon sleep. as the tea kicks in, she'll... Oh, then I'll really feel like a new person. I'm still so tired, I just rolled out of bed. But I feel energized just being out on the water, so. The, uh, the dinghy motor, I had it propped up, but it came down. The problem is, I would just leave it, and I probably will, but I've got it in gear, so it's probably trying to turn against the motor, so I'm going to put it in neutral. So it if I, when I'm leaving the uh, motor, it looked like it was actually staying straighter with the dinghy motor down. It gives it like kind of a rudder. So I, I guess I'll just do that, just leave it down, but I want it neutral so it's not spinning the... the It was, I could hear it. I could hear the motor clicking, you know. But I mean, I don't know if the engine driven would be running the oil through there or not, but I, don't, I just don't know. So it's better to not have the engine turning because I don't know if there's getting oil. So it's in neutral now, so it should be all right. It was only about half an hour down to Black Point. So this is the town dock right here, which I, I like being close to the town dock. The problem is, is that's where all the like speed boats come in and out, bringing tourists and like workers. And so like at seven or eight in the morning, you just get all these wakes. Mm. So we'll go back over here. Okay. We dropped anchor and then I tied on a bridle. We're about to go to land and have some lunch. So I figured it'd be appropriate to put clothes on actually you'd be surprised like bahamians are somewhat uh conservative Lattice. yeah me too oh there you go you get the full spin yep no, yeah no you give us a spin I, i'll give it a spin I'll give you a spin all right uh yeah let's go get some lunch let's go all right this is black point it's a pretty well protected bay from about three directions the only the only bay it's really open to is, uh, is, is from the west, and that doesn't happen too often down here. So it's a pretty popular spot with cruisers. You can see there's a lot of boats through here, and it's just this turquoise, crystal clear water all the way through, so it's really nice. But And it's got like three or four restaurants on shore uh, and a couple little markets, and there's a place where you can fill up water, which we need to do too. So I think we will bring our water jug so we can fill up some water. One thing I've noticed about Bobby is that he has all these really sophisticated tools. So he's just getting some water out of the dinghy. Yeah, what you gotta do. Careful, don't want to lose that. only a couple minutes in the dinghy to the town dock.
So the reason this place is most popular, number one, there's several restaurants. Number two, uh, you know, it's got this beautiful bay, well protected with a nice beach and all that. And then number three, it's actually got come and dump your trash right here. So you dump your trash in here and you put like a couple bucks in this little box there and kind of a donation to kind of take it out. And then also they offer free water. I mean, it's not as big a deal as it used to be because most people have water makers these days, but a good portion don't. So they have like a place right here where you can fill up your water. So that's what we're going to do because we don't have water maker. About 100 yards from the dock is a water spigot that's free to use. One more Saturday night. 15 gallons of water, take it back to the boat. I mean, the boat only holds like 40 gallons anyway, so like this will last us two to three days. Guy. So see everybody else has these long painters out so the boats kind of drift away. He tied his dinghy directly to this ladder. So like everybody has to go through his boat or around his boat to get on there. It's just kind of an inconsiderate move. Put a painter on there so that that doesn't happen. Because I mean like look, he's tied up right in front of the stairs. How do I have to step on his boat to get to the stairs? Black Point really is a beautiful spot with a couple different markets and three or four different restaurants. There's even a laundry, one of the best in the Exumas. There's a primary school for locals. And across the street from that is the water distillation plant. There's even a very small police station and a clinic. In March of every year, they have a big regatta featuring the local type of boats. At the end of the town is the Emerald Sunset View restaurant. With a view like this, you can see where it gets its name. Well, cheers. cheers. Another day in paradise in the Bahamas. Another day in paradise, but also my first full day back in paradise. I'm glad to have you back. It's great to be back. After lunch, we headed to the Black Point Yacht Club. It's fairly new and has only been open about a year. Time for a little photo shoot. We headed to the end of the dock for a photo shoot with Amanda. If you'd like to see these pictures, you can check out Amanda's Patreon. And she has her own YouTube channel as well. All right, uh, nice little pre-happy hour. So we're gonna go back to the boat, chill out. I'm gonna add water to the uh, system and then come back in for happy hour i'm gonna add some water to my system for mm -hmm. happy hour what's that uh, huh? you're gonna hydrate before happy hour yeah oh, okay uh, i'm using a hose to siphon water from our tanks here over into our water fill tank my downside is i only have a 50 foot hose i i don't want to cut it because i want to be able to use this so i've been looking at hardware stores trying to find more hose but it just kind of sucks having to like use such a long hose enters there goes all the way through down through all this mess and then around over into the water fill over here. What are you doing? I don't know, what are you talking about? You are pulling the camera out. My freaking are out. Well, I mean, I wasn't because of your boot was because I thought I had a... I did, I did, I did. All right, boot, stay, stay in there, be good. So, cheers to you guys, thanks for tuning in. We're still gonna we're gonna film the happy hour here in a minute, but uh, we're gonna have our own happy hour before we go to happy hour. All right, cheers to them. All right, fine, you guys too. Sorry, I ruined your lens. <laughs> so we're going to the uh, Black Point Yacht Club. It's just right over here. Cruisers, bunch of them are already there already. So we're gonna load up the dinghy and head out. Well, I 
again, you got another boat tying themselves to the ladder at a short leash, just blocking everything, so you have to go through their boats. It's like, guys, come on. Anyway, all right, let's get a drink. Let's get a drink. The cruiser's happy hour was a lot of fun, although I didn't film much there for the sake of people's privacy. We came back to a cluster of dinghies at the dock. It must be a lot of new sailors lately because it's kind of a new thing to me is seeing people tying up directly to the ladder going up and down. So like this boat has a line tied to the dock and then they have their chain chained to the ladder. So you have to go through their boat to get to any of our boats. So it's just like, guys, be considerate. Like, I don't, sorry, if this is your boat, well, you should know better. But now we have to go down the dock through their boat. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel and the music we're using, head over to patreon.com slash sailing doodles or become a channel member. They also get access to the uncut version of this video.